Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on my 2003 Cape Horn uh, 17 OS right now. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was doing some testing with the brand new Infinity Marine, which is a clear coat and ceramic coating all in one. So it's pretty awesome. So there's a couple of different ways you can apply it. You can hand apply it with either an applicator or a roller, or you can spray it on, which is what I prefer. You get it way smoother when you spray it on uh, and you use a lot less product. So what I'm testing right now is I over applied on purpose. I sprayed it on, I wiped it on, I did some tests and then I got caught up and then I had to take the boat back where I store it to deal with it another day. Well, that other day is today. So what I did was I brought the boat home and my intention was to strip off all of the uh, Infinity Marine that was all over uh, the port side of the hull. I'm sorry, um, the starboard side of the hull because I had over, over applied and did some tests and the product didn't lay down flat at all. I was just testing the gun and just spraying it on. Then, like I said, I ran out of time, so I couldn't do anything about it that day. So I was messing around with it just now. And if you look... You can see what I'm talking about. There's definitely waves in the coating. But what I did, and you can see, look, how inconsistent and nasty it looks over here. It's very foggy, and there's tons of orange peel. All right, so that'll happen when you over apply. But I used... 80 grit, 320 grit, and then I followed that with a thousand grit on the uh, DeWalt cordless machine there. And you can see how rough it is in here. And then look how flat it gets right there. And then you go a couple of feet past that and it gets back to the roughness. Now look, I was not trying to get every single section of uh, orange peel off what I was trying to do is see what it took and see what the effort level was to Flatten it out and make it look a lot better and this section right here is Much better better clarity everything. I mean in this area right here. It looks awesome I'm very happy with how it's turning out now again. You don't need to do any of this sanding unless you want to I mean, this is just a personal choice I chose to do it because I've got to know exactly how to apply, remove, manipulate. I've got to know how to do all of it for a product that I'm trying to sell. So with that said, I'm incredibly happy with just the level of um, correction, if you will, and the level of um, orange peel removal I was able to get with just a uh, I literally two to three minutes sanding that section and then I cut it with sanding polish uh, I actually went over it twice with that then I hit it with gel coat oxidation eater which is a little lighter than sanding polish and then I hit it with uh, smart finish um, I'm very happy with the results I literally and and there's tons of material still left behind for the uh, the little bit of effort it took me to sand that spot by the time I got all my equipment back out, you can see it a lot better from this side. By the time I get all my equipment back out to spray this thing again, um, and well, before even that, by the time I um, strip everything off here and reshoot it to flatten it out to make sure it goes on flat and it self levels and all that, which is no problem at all. Like I said, I got the other side. I did one light coat on the other side and it looks awesome. No issues, no dry spots, nothing. This side looks great. Uh, I am gonna hit this side with another coat, but I just applied so much product on this side and I thought, oh, I'll strip it off. Well, it's actually gonna take me less time to sand this and compound it and polish it back out than it is to strip it and reshoot it. So guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna sand it down, leave it just like that, it looks awesome. So I'm, I'm incredibly happy with how it's coming out. I mean, the cool part is 
You can sand it. You can polish it. Look at the difference right here in just the orange peel and then none. I didn't get the edge right there. You know, again, it was just a test. So I did it in this, this section here. And you can really tell how much better it looks. So anyway, that's Infinity Marine all over this thing and I absolutely love it. It's slick, it's crazy hydrophobic. Uh, it's self annealing, which means if you put on more than one coat, it's going to bond to itself and basically become one with the, the layer below it. Instead of having multiple layers, you're gonna have one thick layer of material. I only put on one medium coat generally on oxidized boats, but it all depends on how much soak you get. You could literally wipe it on and then when you wipe it on and you're not paying attention to what happens, you get this, these lines here. I hope you can see that. Um, I actually applied that with a foam applicator. One of those, um, one of the ones you would use for um, like stains. I'll show you. So I applied that with one of these. And uh, it definitely left some lines. I did it with a heavy hand. Uh, with a roller, it's a little bit better, but I don't love the roller on boats. Uh, it seems to leave bubbles, uh, and then you got to sand the bubbles out, so it's not worth that. Uh, the absolute best way to use this stuff is to spray it on, and uh, if you wipe it on like this, and you get those lines when it's when it's done, all you've got to do is wet sand a little bit. I'm actually, this next segment that I'm going to do for myself to test it out is going to be uh, seeing what level of aggressiveness you've got to use. I did use, I started with 80 grit and then I went to 320 and then I went up to the 1000 Merca disc. So I'm going to try to just sand this real quick with the machine over there and the 1000 grit and see how fast I can get it to level. Because I can tell you, Coming from 80 grit to 320, even 320 is crazy aggressive when it comes to a finish like this. It was difficult to, to bring back some gloss uh, when I tried to polish over the 80 grit. It was almost impossible to get gloss out of it. 320 was better. And then I went right on top of the 320 with the 1000 and it got shiny real fast. So I'm thinking if I can get a thousand to a get a decent amount of leveling done, I have 2000 and 3000 grit Merca discs that I could sand pretty fast and then I can polish it uh, and bring it to a shine. Then you've got a thick layer of awesome clear coat and ceramic coating built in that lasts indefinitely. This stuff was designed to never go away. So it's not like a traditional wax or sealant or even a, you know, a temporary, very th ceramic coatings are temporary, even though they can last years and years and years, they're, they're semi-permanent. This stuff is made to set it and be done. So once you've got the finish like you want, you're going to have smiles for years and years and years, and it's going to be glossy and look nice. And really the only thing that you need to do with this stuff, uh, as far as maintenance is going to be using the maintenance shampoo, which is just a standard shampoo, nothing fancy. It doesn't have any gimmicky bullshit inside. It's just an awesome, awesome soap that's highly lubris, uh, lubricating and it cleans well. It also has, uh, <clears throat> so it's, it's a really nice soap, easy to use. And really that's just so that I can say, hey, this is what you need, so that when people ask me, what do I need to maintain this? Well, here's, here's your soap. But that's it. But you can see how heavy it was, and you can see how awesome it is now. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I will put up more updates as we get more done and do more boats with this stuff. I've, I've got about 20 boats we've done so far, and uh, man, that section I did looks so much better than the rest. So I got about 20 boats out there with this stuff on it so far. And uh, mine will have it and we use my boat, I don't know, every week in the spring and summer. So it'll get a lot of use. And all I'm going to be doing is um, hosing it down and washing it in between time. So 
Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. I know most of the people in there aren't boat detailers, but I need to get more boat detailers in that group because you guys are really, really going to love this product. Thanks for watching. Check back soon.